the 10 of the best conversation starters when you're dealing with women. But before you start this video, make sure to actually like this video and actually subscribe because it helps me out a lot. I be getting a whole lot of you guys DMing me saying, and am I? Bro, please tell me what is the best conversation starters that you need to use to riz up these women. But the funny thing is a whole lot of you guys overthink this. So number one, this is the one that you can use on a date. What is the one thing you cannot live without? Might sound cliche, it might sound stupid, but it's a great way to start a conversation. Because now when she's talking to you, you can branch this off to a whole lot of other conversations that you can talk about. So this is how I want you to do it. So what is one thing you cannot live without? Then boom, she's going to say coffee. Now you're going to be like, ooh, coffee. Why? How come? How come you cannot live without coffee? Does it make you feel good when you drink? It, do not have a whole lot of energy throughout the day there are so many ways you can go with this question so that's gonna bring me into my next one next one is what do you look for in guys how she's literally gonna give you a whole list on what she likes to see when dating a guy oh this one this one's super sneaky now you can see if there's any red flag like if she says the first thing oh i like a guy with some money that's literally going to tell you her secret motives with you so make sure you listen closely to everything she says and by the way this doesn't mean you do everything she says just to get her to like you more because you're coming off fake and not genuine anymore and it's really hard to keep up an Act, but it's very easy to be yourself the next one is tell me about yourself you see your whole goal is with these conversation starters is to get her to keep on talking and to get the conversation going the easiest hack to keep any conversation going with a girl is to get her to talk about herself because she has unlimited things to say you don't even have to be physically listening to what she's saying you could just keep branching off the questions into another question about herself and she's gonna feel connected to you she's literally going to feel like that she can hold a proper conversation with you next one is what is your highlight of your week this question is way better than how are you because now she's not going to give you a generic answer where you have to be scrambling on thinking what the next question is now she actually has to physically think of what her highlight of her week was no more generic autopilot oh hi how are you it was okay this one is what is the high point and low point of your day so far this one is good for girls that actually love to talk this one's very similar to the last one but you swapped the week for a day now you're gonna make her feel like you genuinely care about her and you two are building a very good connection between each other next one is how did your last relationship end this one's a great question to ask because you're gonna actually see if this girl's gonna waste your time or not now what you're gonna look out for if she blames this totally on the ex she tells you that she didn't go wrong in the relationship once usually that's the girl with the most problem now if she said the last guy cheated on him that's fine that's okay but if she's just like oh we just had lots of problems and it was all his fault you might end up in the same boat as the ex too but if she says oh we just drifted apart but we're still friends though run because that ex is still in her life and you can get lots of these girls to tell on theirself you just have to listen this this next one is a game changer what is one thing you always wanted to do in your childhood because later in the relationship you can actually go out and do that one thing that she always wanted to do these are all questions you can say to her that you can build an attachment with her later and actually taking her to do that one thing that she always wanted to do as a kid is going to raise her attraction to you later because a you did something she always wanted to do as a child and b you're using her childhood against her to build connection next one is how do you spend most of your weekends now this is a one where you can find red flags and things to avoid if she says she likes to party and go out with her friends 24 7 on every weekend and you're a guy that likes to grind and put in the work and obviously that's not a good combination if she says she's a homebody and she likes to stay at home and chill out and maybe invite her friends to her house that's very good and depending on what you like maybe you like partying so this is a good question for you that you know that you can connect with this girl in the future now let's go into more deeper questions do you think your priorities has changed since you were younger this question's really gonna make her look into herself and see if she really lived a good life when she was young this is how you're gonna know if she has fulfilled her dreams or did not fulfill them because she was too busy going out with the girls partying and probably living that thought lifestyle but quick spoiler most of the time they're going to say yes next deep question is what is one thing that really stick with you that your parents told you when she was younger this is gonna let you know if her parents were in her life or not this is a good substitute question for uh was your parents in your life you do not have to be so direct with your questions all the time you can find things to soften the blow a little bit but you still have an agenda now the next one is you want to start a conversation through text i got you bro sit tight get you a snack and like this video never slide into her dms with a oh hey how are you every guy's doing the same shit you have to be different you come in the chat with some validation oh you're so beautiful oh, you're so cute heart emoji rose emojis none of that bullshit easiest way to start a conversation through text is use the story if she took a picture in a fancy restaurant and she's eating food boom you can be like what food is that what restaurant is that i would like to go there where's that located see now you don't have to pull none of those questions out of your ass or out of thin air questions are already there use resources to your advantage the faster you transition it is the less time you're going to waste with shorty so shoot your shot if she likes you she likes you if she doesn't like you you move on to the next girl and you do the same thing with the story
I'm gonna give you some flirty conversation starters. Use these after you have gotten warmed up and you have to use confidence with these conversation starters because if you're just like, uh, uh, you're gonna come off as weird. So if things got silent and you notice that the girl's looking at you a whole lot, it could be like this with the utmost of confidence. Make sure you look her in her eyes. Oh, you like what you're staring at? Simple as that. Most of the time when I use that, that really knocked girls off their game. Usually what's going to happen is they're going to flirt back with you. Next conversation starter, if you really want to be flirty and really set the tone is, you guys are on a date and she's walking beside you. Or if you're really about that life, you can do this when you first see her. But remember, you have to have confidence. You take her by the hand, tell her to do a little spin. You can comment and say, oh yeah, all that will be good for me. You're essentially complimenting her, but you're saying all that's good for you. I remember I did this on one of my dates when I was younger. And after I said that, the whole date was all flirty vibe. By the end of that date, she was already kissing me all up on me. By the second date, I literally hit it. You need to be on your A game if you really want to pull that off. Oh, shy boy shit is going to make you pull that off. But if you come up with confidence, spin her around, tell her what you need to say. You go set the tone for the rest of the date. The next flirty question you can do is, I heard you smile a lot you're probably good with kids guarantee you, you're gonna get her blushing with this one but now you can go down the rabbit hole of saying oh how much kids do you want you like kids what's a good year for you to start having kids or what's a good age trust me this question will get her feeling ways about your ass but again you have to have confidence now if you want 10 conversation starters to never use ever make sure to like this video subscribe and also leave a comment saying that you want that video you already know and am i out